G'day possums, welcome back to the lab. We have all seen the Apple AirTag for tracking luggage, bikes, all sorts of valuables. But how do you put an AirTag in your car and hide it in plain sight? Well, you put an AirTag in a toll tag. It sits in the best spot for a tracker on the windscreen. It's cheap and the thief who steals your car has no idea they're being tracked. Enough talk. Let's get started. Right, we have everything here we need to get started and we're going to pull our toll tag apart first. We're just going to use a small flat screwdriver to exploit the crack here. Just push it in. And we're just going to use a slightly larger flat screwdriver to exploit that crack all the way along. I'm just going to open her up. We don't need this bit. Circuit board, it goes. And we just have our case now, which we'll try and mount the uh, air tag in. So what we're going to do now is pull apart the air tag. I rotate the battery cap anti-clockwise, then remove the original CR2032 battery. I separate the top of the shell from the bottom, exposing the core inside. The piezo speaker wires are disconnected. The glue holding the wires is heated and the wires are broken away. I cut the bottom shell in several places. The core is separated from the bottom shell. The piezo driver is pushed out. I remove the original battery connectors. Then I sand back the top of the core, being careful not to damage components, reducing it to less than three millimeters thick. I wash the core in isopropyl alcohol to remove any grit and dry with hot air. We have our air tag core here and by raw coincidence in the actual casing, we have a little dish here, which the air core pretty much fits in perfectly and to power up the air tag core uh, we have a little CR2032 battery receptacle this is one of the Adafruit, Adafruit ones which I use to power up Arduino projects and that will just slot in here just quite neatly and we'll end up cutting a little slot in here and then the CR 2032 will go through that slot or little mailbox and will go straight into this battery receptacle and these will be wired up and that will actually power up our air tag core but before we do that we have to clean up a little bit of plastic in this area here and we'll move on to that right now <laughs> Just cutting the little mailbox for our battery. We might clean that up with a file. We're just mixing up some epoxy here on the side. Just give it a nice thorough stir. And we're going to apply that epoxy inside here. 
make it nice and sticky and we're sticking down our battery receptacle put in place that looks good and the main thing you've got to watch is the lower level level of the mailbox um, clears the actual board so your battery can go in quite nicely and smoothly so we'll just let that epoxy cook off we'll just cut the slot in the top of the case nice and carefully As usual, clean it up with a file. And if we have a look at our little slot or letter box, it looks quite neat, it's not too bad. And it's gonna be mounted so high on the windscreen, no one's gonna see this top bit here. And we'll just check our CR2032 pops in and a bit of a push and it pops in quite nicely. So now we'll start uh, wiring up the actual battery uh, receptacle with the uh, AirTag core. We'll quickly test our battery receptacle before going any further. I'll just pop the battery in. We better bring up a multimeter and we'll just make sure that we have that three volts. Just push down on ground push down on three and you can see that we have just over three volts for our battery so we're all fine to push ahead I solder the negative to the air tag first then the CR2032 battery receptacle the positive gets soldered to the two pins on the air tag then the battery receptacle again this is our first piezo wire this is our second piezo. We are reusing the piezo on the original toll tag. I apply flux and new solder. Then attach the wires from the air tag to the piezo connections. We have our wiring all complete. We have our little battery receptacle for our CR2032 and that's wired off to our air tag core positive and negative and we've got our little wires going across to our little piezo here so all the wiring is complete um, now we're going to glue our little air tag core into place I'm mixing up a little bit of epoxy here on the side give it a good old stir this is the five inch stuff so it goes up quite quickly place a little bit of glue in here All done. Now I just have to wait for it to cook off. You're probably wondering how do we get the battery out of the air tag toll tag. And what I've actually done is I've actually put a small hole in the bottom that can't be noticed. And then I've glued in a little tube here. And what you should be able to do is insert a matchstick or something thin into the bottom and that will push the battery out the top. Nice and simple, it works and it's effective. Well, we're finished. All we have to do is close it up. Get in line and give it a bit of a snap. And we're all done. I am mounting the AirTag Toll Tag high on the windscreen for best reception. You can use the Find My app on the iPhone to locate the car and it can't really be noticed from the normal driving position. Well that's it, I can track my car if it's stolen with an AirTag in disguise, as long as there's an iPhone within close proximity. If you're interested in seeing other stuff repaired, check out the rest of our channel. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe. 
other than that, we'll see you next time in the lab.